Hello everyone, here we talk about the weighted mean. Here we have an example. If David bought a novel at the price $59.98 and a photo book at the price $97.58, how much did he pay for each book on average? We can simply do the calculation below to get the answer. Put two prices together, divided by two, we got average price for each book, $78.78. This is a regular average, or we can call the arithmetic average or arithmetic mean. In this case, we have two values, $59.98. $0.98 and $97.58. We find the average value of these two values. These two values are treated fairly, since David paid each price once. That is why we can add them together and divide by two to get the average price or mean price. If the situation changed, David bought 8 copies of a novel at the price $59.98 and 2 copies of a photo book at the price $97.58. How much did he pay for each book on average this time? We can find how much money he paid in total and how many books in total. And then we can get the average price by division. Here we go. Average price is $67.50 for each book. Here we still work on these two values, 59.98 and 97.58. Value 59.98 repeated 8 times and value 97.58 repeated twice. 8 and 2 are called weights. The two price values are not treated evenly here since they carry different weights. The average price in the way that we calculated above is called a weighted average or weighted mean. Generally speaking, if we have n values, x1, x2, until xn, they carry corresponding weights w1, w2, until wn. The weighted mean of these n values can be expressed below. So we use each individual value multiply corresponding weight and then put all these products together and divide by the total weights. And here we have a symbol sigma which represents sum. So we can simply use this uh, letter, this symbol. It is a Greek symbol and the sigma wx on the top and the sigma w at the bottom and the mean being expressed by the symbol x bar and the subscribe at the bottom right corner w it give you the idea this is about weighted mean here you can see the symbol uh, sigma sigma w or sigma Wx. The formula clearly describes the idea of weighted mean and gives the general process of calculating a weighted mean. Here we have story changed. If David bought five different kinds of textbooks at price $59.98, $87.59, $129.39, cents, $109.88 and $145.29 for school. So the quantities for these five kinds of textbooks are 60, 52, 
58, 40, and 35. What is the average price for each book? So we can apply the data to the formula we just learned earlier. We use every value multiply corresponding weight. Here we have the clear background information, so we understand 60 copies. Each copy for $59.98, you multiply them together, give you how much money paid for the first kind of textbook. Similarly, and we get how much money paid for second the kind of textbook. So when we get all of them together on the top part, that's how much money in total. And at the bottom part, that's how many books counted in total. Finish this division. We get average price $102.61 for each book. Make sure you should clearly understand the real data value and the corresponding width. Recognize width properly. Here we can show you the process solving this uh, weighted mean in Excel. We have copied this data in the Excel worksheet. So we have five prices and corresponding weights. That's how many copies each book. And then what we need to do is use each individual value multiply corresponding widths and then we hold the bottom right auto filling button since we have the same formula for every part with the same kind of calculation so we can just auto fill from here everything's done and then we can simply just click the sigma button for sum and then we also need to have the sum of all the ways and we can do the auto filling again there's all the ways together 245 copies of book and then we just do the division here we go $102.61 is the average price for each book Students take all kinds of courses in school. The final grade for all the courses is the weighted average, which comes from every part of the evaluation of that course. Here is an example. Every part of the evaluation of a course and the corresponding weight are listed in the table below. If the marks of every part of evaluation that a student received on this course are also provided below, can you find out the average mark for this student? So the evaluation system includes test 1, test 2, case study, assignments, and the final exam. So the weight each part of the evaluation takes 25% for test 1, 25% for test 2, 10% for case study, 10% for assignments, and 30% for final exam. And then here we have one student received the mark on each part of evaluation being listed. You should be able to find the average mark of these students will get for this course. Here, all the weights being carefully designed so they together 100%, which make the calculation a little bit easier. So you can work out yourself to prove this answer. The average mark for these students on this course is 83.95%. See you next time.